and so I forgot which was my place and which was not. Thought I had a good shot. I took it right in my eye. It's Morgan and today I'm gonna to be discussing my May favorites with you guys. I'm gonna talk about some apps, a movie, music, um, skincare, makeup, and if there's anything else I'm missing. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So let's go. So the first thing I want to talk about is an app called Pump Up, which you guys may have heard of. How it works is you download it and then you click like the build workout button and you guys know me. I don't really like work out often but this app is like so adaptable for whether you're like the most like hardcore gym goer or whether you're like me so um, anyways you go to the app and you choose your training goal and there's like lose weight get toned build muscle or be healthy and then <laughs> select your fitness level I did beginner and then you set the duration you want to work out and then you choose your location, so like your home, at the gym, or away. And then you go through and select all the equipment that you have, and then go through and click the part of your body that you want to target. So let's say I choose core for today or whatever. And you can choose like add-on, so maybe I feel like adding some cardio. So then it tells you that your workout is ready. Then you go through and it has all of the exercises, and like what's so cool about it is like, if you don't know what the technical terms for like different exercises are, it like shows you exactly Exactly like every movement to do it but I just think this app is like so awesome because it is the most customizable workout app I've ever seen like literally you can customize every single thing exactly how you want it you don't even have to like adapt from what it gives you because you can literally choose exactly what you want I'll have the link to that below okay so the next app I want to talk about is called Voto I think is how you say it it's spelled like photo but instead of a P it's a V basically what the app does is it takes videos that you have and it turns them into pictures. So um, the reason I've been loving this app is because I know when I go to concerts, it's always like complicated to try to take pictures um, of the band and record like the songs. So um, it's really cool. I'll just like show you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try to like record this myself to demonstrate this for you guys. Dancing, here I am. You click um, tap to view the best shots and it pulls up all of the pictures. These are all of the thumbnails that I got from my video and you can click on one to see more. I like this one, why not? From there, you can go through and just like choose whatever filters you want to put on it um, and then just click share. So I just think that this app is super useful um, if you like have a video and you want pictures from it to go through and use that. So I will have the link to download that app in the description as well. Okay, so before I get into my like makeup um, and skincare and all that favorites, I am first going to, yeah, I have everything written down in my little notebook. It's pink and cute. I am first going to mention a movie. I, some of you guys may know, maybe not. Um, I was in a movie, like not, it's not like a huge deal. I didn't have a speaking part, but I um, went to be an extra and then I got to be, um, it's for this like courtroom scene in this movie, and I actually got to be like the person who like sits at the desk in the courtroom, like at the front and like types everything that's being said. I think it's like a stenographer or something is the technical position. So yeah, the movie is called Susie's Hope and it's like actually a really good movie. I'll have all the information in the description um, for where you can see it. I know it's on like direct TV. If you're in a few cities, it's in Redbox. So I'm pretty sure like whatever your cable provider is, you can like get it on demand. And it's not like I'm in the background, like you guys like see me. Let me know if you watch it and tell me what you think. Okay, and then for music, I just pretty much listen to Pandora stations, which I realize is super out apparently. Favorite stations or like music I've been listening to this month. I've been listening to All Sons and Daughters Pandora station. Their music is like super fun and happy and I listen to it like when I'm going to sleep usually is what I do. And then also I've been listening to the O oh Hello's Pandora station. I feel like it's like summery and fun and yeah, I listen to that. Okay, so next I'm gonna go through my like skincare products that I've been loving a lot this month. So first of all, this is just Clean and Clear's Morning Burst um, face wash. I've used a lot of like face cleansers and I have found that this one like really like foams up a lot more than other ones do. I don't know if that makes sense. It like gets more like 
sudsy than the, like, I don't know. So I really like this and it does wake me up in the mornings when I use it. So next on the list is this Proactive Daily Protection Plus Sunscreen and it's SPF 30. And I just love this because um, as a lot of you guys may know, if you follow me on Instagram or whatever, I go to the beach a lot during the summer. My family's pretty much always there and I like lay out in the sun a lot and um, for that reason, I always use sunscreen. It doesn't make my skin feel like really greasy and oily and like it's like going to break out in like five seconds. And it also like doesn't seem to like sweat off really. Like it really feels like it stays on my face. Okay, next I have seen a few other YouTubers mention this. So I had to try this out. Is the EOS um, shaving cream and this one is in pomegranate raspberry which smells awesome. And this is just like such a different like type of shaving cream. You literally just squirt it out and it's like a lotion pretty much is how it is, I guess. You just like put it all over, I mean, you guys know how shaving cream works, I assume. It says that you can shave wet or dry. I have not tried shaving with this on dry skin. It like seriously moisturizes. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna switch back to my other shaving cream anytime soon slash ever. All right, and lastly for skincare, um, I guess this counts as skincare. I have been loving the Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets, which rock. I'm sure a lot of you guys use those. Um, and you just open it and it pulls one out for you. And then you just like press it on your skin and it takes all the oil out. And like I can't go through the whole day without my face getting, you can kind of see maybe. Does this look like a dewy glow? I hope instead of like greasy nastiness. Midday I usually go through with one of these and like right in here and like on my forehead um just mop up that oil. And these are the only ones I've found that aren't like super papery and like I've tried NYX's before and they literally feel like tissue paper. Um two thumbs up for those for sure. I really like them the best out of all that I've used. Next this is the Healthy Healthy Sexy Hair um, soy Renewal Beach Spray. Um, you guys probably have seen some of those like salt sprays that you like spray in your hair when it's damp and it gives you like those beachy curls, um, or waves rather. So I really love this in the summer, especially like I said when I'm at the beach a lot because we go on the beach all day and come in and shower and I can just like spray some of this in my hair and let it do its own thing and like actually look good without having to spend forever drying my hair and styling it that way. I don't know if it works on everyone's hair types. I My hair like is naturally kind of wavy. You guys let me know. If it, do you got any of you guys have straight hair? Does this work on it? All right. So next, I have um, a few makeup products I've been loving this month, and the first one you may or may not be able to tell is on my lips right now, and it is just the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. Um, I know these are nothing new. It's so matte and like doesn't look glossy or lipsticky at all. I don't know. They have a huge variety of colors. This is one that's on my lips. And I just think they're a really summery product to have just because like they're such bright colors. Next I have one mascara that I wanted to mention. Um, I've used this in tutorials in the past and it is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And the wand isn't like, doesn't seem like it would give you long dramatic lashes. But something about it does. I'm using it right now. Honestly, I ring this up there with like the Benefit um, Their Real Mascara. Plus it's like way less expensive. You really can't even tell the difference when you use this or that. And I dropped it again. Also in the um, eye category, I wanted to mention this NYX Roll On Shimmer that I've been using. And I've had this for a very long time. And it is very shimmery. But what I like to do is just take an eyeshadow brush and just tap it on the top and like just pick up some of like the glitter dust I guess and then just like tap it on like the inner half of my um, eyelid just to sort of like brighten that up a little bit. Okay and then lastly for eye products I wanted to mention these two MAC eyeshadows which just happened to like I have them both because they were in this like kit that had a ton of stuff in it. But um, the two colors I wanted to mention are these two right here which are called Naked Lunch and then the middle one is called Wedge and basically I've been using these like every day in my makeup whenever I like actually want to do like my eyes and things so like for example right now I always use Naked Lunch on like the inner half of my eye and then Wedge on the outer half and for face makeup products this is the Benefit 10 little box bronzer highlighter duo as you can tell it's like half bronzer and half highlighter I don't use the bronzing side as much but I love this highlighting side it's like the prettiest like pearl, light pink, um, shimmery color. And what I like doing after I put on my bronzer, I put it like right in here um, and I really need to use one of those oil strips. Yeah, and then like along like my 
the T-zone. So I am loving that because it gives you a really pretty like summery glow um, and just like accentuates your face where the light hits it, I suppose. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope this gave you some ideas of some new things to try out. Let me know what your favorite things of the month are because um, especially makeup items, I have not invested in anything in a while or tried out anything new it seems like. So comment below what your favorite things are that you recommend that I should try. And yeah, feel free to also leave video requests, complaints, comments, concerns, questions, whatever you want. Oh, leave questions. I'm going to film. Yes. Okay, good. Um, comment below questions. I'm going to do a Q&A impossible with my sister. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be questions like about us necessarily. It can be, but just questions because it'll be fun. That's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Me and you should take a vacay. What does the fuck say?